So welcome to this question on 2019 uh, B2 of DCG Higher Level by Val Connell. And so I'll just bring up the question now. So the image on the right shows the delay C bridge in Drada. So part A, the curve ABC in parabolas and elevation of vertex at D. Draw the given elevation. B, the curves D, E, F and P, Q, S in plan are branches of a double I parabola. Um, so we have to draw them. The vertices are E and Q. The construction for a portion D, E is one branch and uh, HLG is a straight line. So that's a straight line there, HLG. And then in elevation, we have to draw a tangent to the parabola at C. Now, so I'm going to start by looking at a 3D model of the question. So here's a similar 3D model of it. It's not um, a true replica of what's in the exam question because the exam omits the cables in plan. So they omit the cables in plan, the cables would look as so. So that's there, but the, cab the cables will be there. And here's the hidden detail if the cables were put in in plan. Now, so part A, we have to draw the elevation. So this is what the elevation it looks like in uh, SOLIDWORKS and then in 3D. So there's the elevation in black and we're going to use the rectangle method to construct it. So I'm going to go through that now before I start drawing it. So as per the question, the length is 252, I think. Height is 81. These divisions are every 18 mil. So we're going to draw, use the rectangle method to draw in the um, parabola. Um, this is used to, uh, what you call it, this construction here is used to draw it in. So if half of the parabola, the rectangle for half of it is in seven equal divisions. This must be in seven equal divisions. So we're going to draw a line at any acute angle. We're going to make it 70 long and mark seven equal divisions on it. And we're going to join the last one to the end point and all the subsequent lines are parallel. And we'll join them to the vertice and these straight up and where they intersect give us points in the parabola. So I'll start on part A. So part B of the question, we have to draw the plan view of the bridge. Um, if you read this, the curves D, E, F and P, Q, S in plan are double hyperbolas and then it says about the line HLG. So um, we're going to start by drawing the double hyperbolas and we're going to use the rectangle method of drawing a double branch hyperbola to do that. Um, and then we're going to have a quick look at it in uh, 3D to see um, the plan. So the plan, there's the outline construction and then uh, of the rectangle method and then We'll see here. So the size of this rectangle, okay, is the key question. If we look at the question here, it's two, four, five. So five by uh, five divisions from elevation just drop down. So five divisions drop down. Then the distance from the center line here to the corner of the rectangle is 40. And these little divisions here, or these little symbols means there are five equal divisions. So the key for the rectangle method is that this edge is divided into the same number as this edge. So 40 divided by five is eight. Uh, you can do that because 40 divided by five gets an equal number. And then these are just dropped down from elevation. So the points then on this edge, so the points then on this edge will be joined to the vertex of the hyperbola, uh, which is letter E. And then the points here on the left hand side of the rectangle will be joined to the vertex of the opposite hyperbola Q. And then we can repeat the construction on the right hand side or we can just mirror the points of all across. So what I done to get the second parabola was I just dropped these down and joined to get um joined them to the vertex and brought the points straight across. So one last look there and I'll get started then.
So the next part of the question here, um, to complete line GLH, right, uh, the road intersects the red rectangle on point G, so that's easily found, and to find point H, second point on the line GLH is where the second division intersects the edge of the rectangle. So we can draw them uh, lines in, there's four lines, okay, on the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and then we can get um, the points. Then we'll do the curves. So the road is 32 width, um, so it's 16 up and down either side of the centre line. So we can mark it across there. Now, uh, where it intersects the vertical line from E, uh, heavy line through tree. Same this side. Heavy line through tree. Okay, down below then is the same. Now, to draw the curve, right, um, the line HLJG is a tangent to the curve, so basically where the straight lines, okay, intersect the roadways, if you go at 90 degrees, the normal, to the road, or the straight line rather, um, you will find the centre points, okay, and we can draw in the curve through our compass. So the last part of the question is to draw a tangent at point C. So the focus is located 4.9 meters from vertex B, so 49 millimeters. Um, so I'm going to join the focus to C, and then I'm going to bisect the angle between the focus and C, the point C, and a line that's uh, going vertical on our page. So I'm going to measure down 49 millimeters. That's the focus there, one. This is point C. So I'm going to join C to F1. Now for a tangent to a parabola, okay, you draw or you join F1 to the point on the curve and you can draw a line parallel to the axis of the tangent, that's there, and then you bisect the angle between those two lines. So my compass is set at any radius, so any radius, and I'm bisecting the angle between the two lines. And now this angle bisector is the normal to the tangent, so there's the normal, and then the tangent then is going to be perpendicular to that. So there's the tangent. And that's the question.